<laughs> when I was a kid, I always wanted Air Jordans because I thought if I put them on, they would make me flay better. And sometimes they did because a lot of it's just in your head. You get this wheel and you'll get in your head that you will feel like you can do things that you couldn't do before. This will make you a jumper. You know, as confident as this wheel makes me feel, I don't think I'm quite ready for this one yet. We can't let Andrew get hurt, number one, because we gotta finish this video. Number two, because he's got a baby coming. What's up guys, Jimmy Chang here with Andrew and today we have the InMotion V14, the adventure. I'm always looking for a safe, reliable wheel and I hope this is gonna be it. It's got progressive suspension, it's got their new Raptor controller, it's got a 134 volt system. This thing can reach speeds of up to 40, 40 plus miles safely and it's got a range of 75 miles. I hope this can be the machine that I'm looking for, something that I can use as a daily commuter and something I can use when going on weekend adventures. InMotion puts a lot of thought into their packaging and the boxes come in great shape. So let's go ahead and get this open. Here we have some side panels, hardware, some instructions. I love how these manufacturers are learning from the third party market. I mean, you have Grizzla pads, you have Clark pads, they make these panels to put onto the sides of the EUCs to fit their system so that you can put pads and other accessories on much easier and now these actual manufacturers are putting on these panels so pretty cool so no pads came with the v14 we have a bunch of pads here from Grizzla pads thank you Grizzla all right we have the InMotion v14 the adventure all set up we've got the Grizzla pads to our liking we're going to do a quick walkthrough from top to bottom just to let you see what this wheel is all about. So first off, it's got this nice orange trim and from the top, we have a display and just one button action. As I was setting up this wheel, I was using the app and the app was super easy to use. It's the same app that you use for all the other InMotion devices. So if you have an InMotion wheel or scooter, it's gonna be the same app. And then let's talk about this tire. It's the most unique tire we've ever seen on an electric unicycle. It's carry stone is what it is. We've never seen that before, but it's got some really deep knobbies on here. And it's nice and wide because it's connected to that C40 high torque motor, which is wide. And talking about that motor, it's a 4,000 watt motor that will peak at 9,000 watts. And so that should give you enough power for daily commutes and for fun adventures. Talking about the top again, we have this trolley handle and this is a really tall trolley handle look at the difference in the trolley handle height and let's try this and you can see the trolley height all right let's talk about these charge ports here it's got a nice rubber cover to protect it from the elements and uh, dual charging which is always nice and expected so you should be able to charge it from almost empty to 80 percent in just underneath an hour so then we have another handle back here the ha it, it is just a handle, there's no light built in. The brake light is up on top of the body. It does flash when you're braking. And right below that we have the progressive suspension. Yeah, in the previous versions of the V11 and the V13, you had the dual air suspension that was located in the center. A lot of people had issues with that. This is the first time we've ever seen them not use air suspension and also this type of geometry in the rear for a coil suspension. You can adjust the compression on the top so you can do it on the go without any type of tools. And you can also adjust the rebound on the bottom. They've already added a pad here. And then as you saw before, it was basically a blank slate that we put this a uh, plate on top of it which had velcro already installed. This is all plastic with some bumpers here. These bumpers are pretty cool. It'll help protect the lights in case of a crash. It also acts as a second kickstand. If you didn't want to use the rear kickstand, let's say you didn't even want to install it, you can turn on the kill switch and put it down like that. It is a little bit more stable on the rear kickstand, but laying it on the front, it is also stable as well. This light looks almost identical to what we've seen on the V13. Really bright and also fanless, so you don't have that annoying fan noise in the background. There's the daytime running lights, the nighttime lights, 
and you can also adjust the angle. The nice thing about the stiff fender is it doesn't flop as much, but we've had problems with stiff fenders breaking during rollovers. That's one of the reasons why you like to have the kickstand because the kickstand will actually protect that fender during a rollover. And then with the pedals, they're held by friction. It's one bolt down here that you can use to adjust the friction. Also, it holds the rod in place. There is the shim that you can stick here if you want an increased pedal angle for a more locked in feel. I didn't like it, so we took those out. We have a 12 inch rim fitted with a 16 inch tire. In the middle of the rim, there is a 4,000 watt motor with a peak output of 9,000 watts. We're gonna get this plugged in, freshly charged, put on our safety gear and take it for a spin. Okay, you can probably tell by the way we're dressed that it is freaking cold today. We have no choice but to do this review today because Andrew's gonna have a baby. All right, so give the video a thumbs up. Give Andrew congratulations. First baby on the way. We've got Andrew on the V14 Adventure. I'm on the Veteran Lynx and we're gonna go out and we're gonna put this guy to the test. What do you think so far, Andrew? It's got a ton of torque, so I'm pretty stoked to take this off-roading and see how it goes. Alright, let's do it. So riding more technical stuff like this requires fine-tuning your device so that it is exactly like you like it. You, you have to have this dial down because if it's just a little bit off, it could cause you to fall. And so Andrew's making sure his pads are on just right, suspension's just right, and then we're gonna try taking it down some of this stuff. This thing feels awesome. Plenty of torque to get going from a standstill. So you have to put a little effort into accelerating it. And then coming off of jumps, it feels nice and cush when you're landing on the flat. <laughs> this thing is epic, man. And I weigh 220 pounds. So that just shows you how much torque it takes to get up something that steep and launch me that far. So I think this uphill part will show a good testament of the torque in this wheel. It's got some crazy rocky chunky stuff at the beginning, bunch of logs and pretty steep. Oh, that was a little bit interesting. Oh, 220 pounds. The fact that I could almost stop because I missed that part and keep climbing, man, this is impressive. And you didn't hear the motor groan one bit. Andrew's gonna do a little hill climb test. This is a pretty steep hill right here. Yeah, from a standstill, I didn't get any motor groaning at all. And that's a very steep hill. Yeah, made it look easy. No problems there. But if you're having problems comparing electric unicycles, then check out our freshly updated website and EUC comparison tool where you can sort, search, and compare EUC specs and see our reviews on the units we've tested. It's a work in progress, but I find it pretty handy. Woo! This thing is epic. Whew. Well, since we're already stopped here, let's talk about the things that we love about this new in motion v14 adventure the amazing torque and the progressive suspension are primo for riding off-road trails i'm the cautious one riding andrew's the one that likes to take risks but with all the things that we've reviewed all the electric unicycles we've reviewed i've never seen andrew do jumps and drops like he has today yeah i'll do many bonks i'll do little drops but nothing like i'm trying on the v14 and i just feel so confident in the wheel that it's going to hold me up i'm not going to lose torque on the technical spot and then the suspension is going to be nice and cush even if i land in the flat the fact that you can adjust that suspension on the fly really nice already andrew has dialed it in several times just to get it perfect for the different features that he's been working on. So the adjustable suspension has been excellent. The Raptor controller, it's one of the best in the business. If you've ever taken apart an EUC or an electric scooter, it's so clean inside of these units. On top of that, you have this amazing Bluetooth app, which has so much functionality and looks ultra crisp on the app. A lot of the other manufacturers that make apps, they just kind of look like they're dated and they just don't look as clean as in Motion app. So I spoke about the power, 
but the power comes a lot from the C40 high torque motor. Tons of power and instant acceleration as soon as you push into it. And then let's talk about the overall construction. Fit and finish has been very impressive. It's well put together as we expect from an in motion product. One huge positive about the V14 is the shape on the top half of it. A lot of these new EUCs have this boxy feeling where it digs into your inner knee. This one has this nice tapered feeling and some thin padding at the top. The screen on the top, it's simple, it's not cluttered and it's pretty easy to read. The kickstand is nice and rigid. A lot of kickstands we've seen in the past, especially on wheels that jump, they're pretty dinky and they just snap off real easily. So this is nice and rigid and beefy. This fender has really good coverage and as I've been following Andrew from behind, I've had no issues with the dirt and the dust. The front light, it's ultra bright, it's fanless and it's also adjustable. The rear light, it's bright, it flashes when you're braking. It does a good job. It's simple, it's not over-engineered. It's just a single bar. I wasn't sure about the strength of this pedal. Foot pedals for EUCs, it's almost like women's swimwear. As we progress, it just becomes less and less material. And that's what we have here. There's less material during the few crashes we've had. One of them, a fairly high impact crash, it's held up well. And you can look at one of the crashes, the impact, I mean, that's not too far away from where the battery case is. Because that impact is so close, I mean, it's really nice to know that we've got this additional bumper here to help protect the batteries. I think that may have nailed the bumper. Look at that, doing its job. It's a and supposedly we are supposed to get pads with our shipment it's just been a little bit delayed yeah so once we get those pads we'll give you guys an update we'll add that to the video i do love the off-road tire that this comes in you also have the option with e-wheels to come equipped with the street tire if you're not planning on doing off-roading but it's nice and wide and the knobbies have climbed this hill with ease. I like that this comes with metal casing around the battery. It's an IPX7 for the battery and the whole overall construction of the electric unicycle is IPX6. So that's huge because most electric unicycles do not come with water resistance rating. The fact that InMotion has taken the time, spent the money to get that certification, that's a big deal especially if you're using it for adventures or for commuting when you could get caught in the rainstorm where supposedly it's supposed to rain today. It hasn't started to rain yet, but we're having fun. So we're gonna keep riding. At our next stop, we're gonna talk about the things that we don't like about this electric unicycle. This is what the screen looks like. This is my vantage point looking down. I told you it's cold. These One Protect gloves are really keeping my fingers warm. It's got the wrist protection with that wrist guard so I can't hyperextend. It's got scaphoid protection. It's insulated and it's touch sensitive. The rain is about to start. We can feel the raindrops coming. Let's talk about the things that we don't like about this InMotion V14. Man, there's not a lot to hate about it, but the orange piece of plastic on the top, I wish it was a little bit more rigid. When we had that fall, it did break one of the corner pieces, but to me, it almost seems like it's a cheap piece of plastic, kind of like on dirt bikes where you're expected to break them and it's easy to replace. Then the trolley handle, it gets really long. It's a little flimsy. It's a little more flimsy than I'm used to for a trolley handle. And then over here, the sticker, it's a reflective sticker. It just seems a little cheap to me. It's nice to put reflective material on an EUC, but I would like something of higher quality. All right, we've been riding this pretty hard. We've put about 10 miles on it with hard trail riding, and we're down to about 78% charge. So that means what? We can get about 40 miles, you think? Yeah, 40, 45 miles, which is not terrible for an off-road wheel. So this isn't quite a knock on this wheel itself, but I know a lot of people would wish that in motion would create a long range wheel. It is nice that you can remove the batteries and replace them in under 10 minutes with this wheel. However, with this pad panel, it's stuck on with tape. So I would have liked for them to design the battery to have some type of screw holes on them to where this is screwed in rather than adhesive on. Adjusting the pedal angle, I don't love that you only can use that one style of shim. I would have liked for them to provide different thicknesses so I could increase it a little bit 
but not so much to where it feels uncomfortable. It's starting to rain, so we should get going. The InMotion V14 does have IPX water resistance rating, but I don't like being wet and cold. So we're gonna start heading out. While we ride, we're gonna talk about who we think should get this wheel. All right, little raindrops are falling, but it is freezing. And I think it's gonna start snowing here in a little bit. Let's head home, get some hot chocolate. But before we do that, Andrew, who do you think should get this electric unicycle? This is an awesome trail wheel and great for people who are beginners aspiring to be your inner Mike Leahy. If you want to learn more, check out our full written review at freshlycharged.com. Thanks for watching and when you guys ride, wear your safety gear. We got our stock pads for the InMotion V14. We're excited to put these on, but currently our wheel is under maintenance. And if you'd like to know why our wheel is underneath maintenance, make sure to subscribe to see when our next video comes out.